Hello there, it's Mary M. Buck Murray, and I am back with the third video for calling back your energy. So in video number one, I discussed over responsibility and what to do about it. The second video was all about control and how to loosen it. And this video is about triggers. Uh, we all get triggered. I certainly get triggered sometimes when I read the news, certainly. Uh, there's certainly a lot to get triggered about these days. And um, the thing about triggers is that often a trigger will start like a cascade of thoughts going in a certain direction that usually doesn't feel very good. And we spend a lot of energy when we're ruminating about whatever we were triggered about. And so when we begin to look at our triggers and heal our triggers and deactivate our triggers, we can call back a lot of energy because there's so much that we spend when it comes to triggers. And so what I'm going to talk about are specifically the triggers that happen when we're dealing with other people. So our colleagues, our friends, family members, people on social media, uh, and how to begin to look at the trigger so that you can make it a little bit softer and not as reactionary. You know, the thing about triggers is that they are so automatic that often, you know, we'll say something that we don't mean to say. Uh, we'll be thrown into an argument that, you know, Afterwards, we'd be like, why did that happen? I don't even know what I said. And it's really important to understand that when we're, get, when we're triggered, because it's coming from the subconscious mind, because it's coming from a, you know, just an automatic, it's like a smoke detector, that we often, if we are not conscious of it, we can feel not in control of it. And so it's something that happens and we feel like we have no control. And so the goal here is to bring more awareness around the trigger so that you do have more control over your triggers. So when you're with a person and it feels like it's going in a direction that you don't like, and you notice yourself being triggered by some sort of uncomfortable feeling, maybe anger or resentment, you name it, to pause and notice the feeling and ask yourself in that moment, what do I really need? Maybe the answer will come then, maybe not, but the very act of slowing down and taking a deep breath, pausing to really contemplate the trigger is enough to begin to bring down the intensity and typically also bring down the cortisol, that stress hormone, so that you can think more clearly, so that you can be more conscious of your words as opposed to reacting with words that you're not even really conscious of until somebody tells you that you said it, right? Um, and so, and so to be really mindful of the trigger and to also understand that a trigger is always, if most often, if not always, coming from a younger place within, from some kind of event or experience that maybe didn't get processed fully. And so we're our energy, nervous, sensory system, emotional system is still holding on to that. And so when we come in contact with something that reminds us of that old experience, we're not thinking that. It's just this automatic reaction. That's when we react in the way that we react. So it's important to understand like, okay, this is coming from a long time ago. Mm, can I really look into this? Perhaps at a different time when you have uh, more space 
to begin to look at that trigger and begin to understand that maybe it came from a long time ago, but it's not appropriate for right now. EFT tapping is a really wonderful tool for helping to deactivate triggers and bring down the cortisol, the stress hormone. You know, cortisol, when it's really high, when we're really stressed out and feeling anxious, will actually drain blood from the thinking part of our brain and so that it's really hard to articulate. And so by using some tapping, just even tapping on the side of your hand while you're feeling triggered is enough to begin to reduce that cortisol along with the breath, which will turn on the relaxation response and help you navigate the trigger in a way that feels more integrity for what you really, um, what will really benefit you the most or benefit the situation the most. Okay, so, so look at your triggers, pause, use some EFT tapping. And if you need some more information on EFT tapping, visit my website at marionbuckmurray.com. So good luck with your triggers. Give them some love and attention and give them a pause so that they don't have to throw you into a reaction and, you know, waste your energy in a way that's going to drain you. So here's to calling back your energy and feeling vibrant and full. And uh, thank you for watching. Until next time.